August the second, today's wisdom. He keep it. He keep it the paths of judgment and preserved the way of his sins. Proverbs two eight. In this verse, the wise parent unveils to his son how God lays sound wisdom for righteous men. Proverbs two seven, assuring himself they walk in justice and integrity. At an early age, children should be taught by their parents about God, the fall, and the story of redemption. They shouldn't be deprived from the right to know God and to understand progressively as they grow up how to be reconciled with God and walk in justice and integrity. The truth is, the quality and the productivity of their lives and their mission will depend on it. As parents, the challenge is to sort these things out ourselves. Otherwise, which values are we going to communicate to the children God gave us? In other religions, it is man who search for God, but in Christianity, it's God who came in search of man. This notion is crucial and constitutes the foundation of the gospel. God is at the same time the author, actor, producer, and finisher of faith. Hebrew 12:2. When the faith of parents is based on this foundation, it is quite possible for them to assure a holy descendants. If Abraham, the father of faith, was declared just on the basis of what he heard and believed about the promise of God, Genesis 15:6, none of his sons will be justified otherwise. That's why Paul said, "Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham." Galatians 3:7. This means for the Galatians that they needed not to do anything to be saved, if not to believe Jesus died for their sins and resurrected for their justification. Truly speaking, no one could, by his own efforts, meet the demands of God's holiness. Jesus alone did it for those who believe. Each child should hear this truth, for faith to be born in him and grow according to the grace of God granted to him. Jesus says. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. John ten, twenty eight. Jesus said so to the Pharisees to let them understand that it's Himself who will save His disciples and protect their work in justice and truth till the end. Truth, God Himself saves those who fear Him and protects them till the end. Application, to believe and keep faith. One. On which basis do you believe you are justified? Two, how do you intend to rely on the grace of God? Recommendation. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. First Corinthians four two. Let's pray together. Father, I believe in the sacrifice of your Son at the cross for me. Thank you for having saved me and for keeping me till the end. In Jesus' name, Amen. Today's reading. Psalm six to ten, Proverb two, Ezekiel twenty two to twenty four. You are blessed.